Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and Ganny and in this video I'm going to be giving you a little tour of our gorgeous new window display in the shop which you can see behind me here. So this is our new window display to welcome the start of spring as the days are getting longer and the weather's just getting a little bit brighter here in the UK. We'll sort of change things up a little bit. We've got loads of new fabrics coming into the shop at the moment so we have freshened up the window display and for those of you that are too far away to make it into the shop in person I thought I'd just give you a little sort of view of what's happening what it looks like where all of your orders that you are placing online come from everything is cut here on the shop floor so so yeah you can imagine us just busy in here when you are putting your orders through online and then we're getting them ready for you so we have got really lovely bright vibrant colors in this window with the pink and the teal as you can see and Joe who designs and puts together all our windows is as of course done another amazing job in bringing this together. We've also got really lovely tissue paper flowers which um, Joe and some of the team have made as well to go along the bottom which are really lovely. They just um, fill up the window really nicely. It's quite a big bay window so you do need to sort of get the scale right on things when we're, when we're sort of making props and working out how much of something like how many birds need to go in the window. It usually needs more than what you initially think. Um, so I'll talk you through the garments that are modelled on the mannequins as well and the fabrics that are used and you can find links to those those patterns and then also either the fabric or a suggested alternative to the fabric in the blog post that goes along with this video so I'll put a link to that in the description so if you have been inspired by some of the outfits that we've got in the window display just now then check out that blog post for information on how to recreate those looks so first of all we have got the chalk and Notch joy jacket which is actually one of the samples that were part of the kits that we did last year for this garment and although we don't have any of the kits left we do have lots of different colors of the smooth drape tensile twill left which is what we used in this kit and inside it's got a really beautiful bright vibrant viscose patterned lining so it's a really nice way to sort of bring some kind of variation of colour and brightness to what is otherwise just a, a you know a plain garment. I absolutely love my version of the, the jacket. I wear the pink one a lot. We do have the, the pink fabric available by the meter. Um, I cropped mine and I wear it a lot in the summer so I'm looking forward to getting that out again this summer. And then it is paired over the Megan Nielsen Rowan Tee which is made up in our loop back Medal French Terry jersey fabric. So it's a little bit of a weightier fabric. So if you are making a tee shirt but you want it or a top but you want it to feel a little bit thicker then that fabric is a really good option we have lots of different colors of that as well it's suitable for loads of things that fabric but yeah nice version of the Megan Nielsen Rowan tee there and then it is paired up with a pair of closet core jeans we've always got lots of jeans in the window and um, always just classic garment to pair lots of things with and then the next one we have got the Tilly in the Buttons pearl cardigan so this is like a little cute wrap around cardigan and again there's lots of different types of fabric you can use to make this garment but for this particular one we have chosen a cotton French terry or a loop back so it's got this really lovely pattern on it we do have we do have some other French terry look backs that are nice and patterned as well and and yeah it's just a really lovely little little top cardigan that maybe just like feels a little bit thicker and warmer as it's that you know it's still not that it's still not hot here in the UK by any means you know you just still need some warmth and layers so wearing this over like a little camisole or vest top would be a really lovely way to sort of have a nice bright outfit that's still a little bit warmer and then the next mannequin we've got is an old sample from a, a past window that we did it's been really popular it's a really popular pattern it's the friday pattern company adrian top and it's for jersey fabric and it's got these lovely big sleeves so it's got elastic that goes over the shoulder that obviously then gathers it all up so really nice full big sleeves the the particular fabric we use for this sample unfortunately we don't have it anymore because it was a like a past sample and a past fabric but the medal look back that I mentioned before that was in the, the row and it would be really nice for it as well. We do also have lots of plain colours of a tensile jersey as well which is a bit more thinner, it's more like a t-shirt weight um, and it would drape really beautifully in that as well. So a few different fabric options there. 
if you you know you want to make that top it is a really lovely one and it is with some true bias emerson trousers and some of our linen we're starting to get all of the colors of our linen back in stock again it's one of those classic fabrics for the summer spring summer months and then finally we have got one of the true bias zoe tops in the meat milk derby ribbed tensile jersey which has been so popular and um, i all i've always got one of them on under i've got one on right now and um, in the navy color way this it's a really lovely basic to have and um, to, to layer up with things and you know when it does get really hot in the summer obviously you could just wear it on its own as well and then it is paired with the true bias marlowe cardigan which again this particular fabric we don't have at the moment because it was a, a past sample a past fabric but we do have lots of other fabrics that are really good for the marlowe the closest we've probably got to that at the moment is our viscose blended knit fabric which is like a double-sided fabric some of them are just one color some of them are two colors so there's like a sort of reverse and um, which is which works really nice i covered a cardigan workshop that we did the other week and a few of the ladies were using that fabric to make cardigans and it's nice the, the two-toned one's nice because you can have contrast hem band cuffs and the the neck band as well which looks really you know using the same fabric as just using it the other way around so um that's a really nice option if you want to make the marlow cardigan just now but marlow is also good just for regular um french terry you can use fleece back sweatshirting with it as well so really versatile pattern there and again that is another pair of true bias emerson trousers and these ones are in our rami fabric which again is another really popular classic fabric for spring summer it's good for lots of different things especially trousers shorts jumpsuits that sort of thing so so as i said before all of those patterns and fabrics or sort of alternatives will be linked in the blog post that goes with this video um, and then also depending on when you're watching this video you'll be able to check out my new fabrics roundup as well that I did at the end of February that sort of shows lots of the new things that we've had in stock recently it's a really good way to get to see them in detail a little bit more than just looking at the listings on the website and then also I have got another video um, coming out very shortly which is all about the new fiber mood magazine so it's looking at the patterns that are in there and fabrics that go with all of them so even if perhaps you're maybe not you you, you you know you don't you don't want the magazine or you're you know you're not sure about using the magazine it is a really good way to just get used to working out what different fabrics are and pairing them up with different styles of pattern and start to imagine what they would look like made up so do watch out for that video make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you you don't miss out on my future videos but I hope you enjoyed having a little look around the window display it's giving you some inspiration a little insight to what it's looking like here at G&G &G at the moment if you've got any questions at all feel free to leave a comment below you can always call the shop or give us an email as well we're always more than happy to help and get back in touch with you thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs> bye